<laughs> okay, I'm going to talk a little bit about personas and what personas are and how we how we go about trying to learn about our users with NUCD, which is one of the critical pieces of what we do here in uh, in Dayton. Oops, let me back up a little bit. Are we designing for Johnny? That's one of the questions. Who are we exactly designing for? When we go out and develop our products for Science Track or for, for whatever product it is that we're, working, that we're going to be working on, who are our users, what do they do, and, and what can we find out about them that's going to help us try, try to understand uh, how we want to design and develop our product. So is Donnie one of our users? Well, that's a good question. Is he a researcher? Is he a scientist? What we try to do is we try to go out and we meet with users, we try to find out who our users are, what they're doing, what their tasks are, and then we try to encapsulate that information in what we call personas. So what's a persona? Well, if you look around, we've got some posters of some personas uh, spread out around the room. Basically, personas are encapsulations. They're, they're, they're encapsulations of, of our users. They're, we take the information that we gain from users in the research that we've done, and we, we try to summarize it in a fashion. We try to create an archetype of our users. So an archetype describes the user, what their primary tasks are, their information needs, their pain points. The important thing to keep in mind is that these are not things that we brainstormed. These are not things that we've sat in the room and tried to say, well, I think our researchers are like this or do that. These are actually based on research that we've done when we've gone out to University of Model Las Vegas or gone to Wright State or gone to a medical hospital and really sat down interviewing users, observing users, trying to understand what it is they're doing. So our, our personas that you see around here and that you see in the little dossiers that we distributed are actually based on, on real data that we've got, qualitative data mostly, to try to understand what, our, what the users do and, and uh, what their needs are. So there, why do we create, create personas? Well, of course, like any user knowledge, you want to use that to try to drive the product, try to drive the design and, and what the product's going to be able, need to do in order to satisfy it and, and make the users you know, really delighted and happy with our products. So the idea behind the persona that we developed is to try to guide the project team by thinking of an external user. For, too, for way too long, I know one of the frustrations within UCD was that oftentimes everybody, in their, everybody had their own vision of what the user and the user's needs were. Everybody had their own internal you know, idea about what a, what a user was. So it's a, it's a great creating personas is a way to try to put this out in front of the entire team so that the entire team working on the same page, working on the same understanding as to what, what personas are. An example persona, for example, from uh, back when uh, Illuminate was being, actually, go back, sorry. Back when Illuminate was being created, we developed a set of personas such as this information specialist, a corporate information specialist. Again, trying to understand what, the persona, what, what they do. So we generated a personal profile. This is an abstraction, it's based, but it's based on real data that we gathered while interviewing and observing and working with real information specialists in a number of different companies. Try to understand like, what sort of scenarios do they get engaged in, what sort of tasks they do. What you don't see on this particular slide are things what we call information needs. In other words, what type of information are they trying to, uh, are, are they gathering or are they trying to gather as they're doing their work? And what are the pain points? In other words, what is it that's really causing them a lot of stress? What is it that uh, they're, they're, they're unable to get done or unable to do easily within their work? This is stuff that we try to capture and put into a persona to, to use on the different projects. It, uh, to, to try to highlight the difference between that and what you know, we might think of as a stereotype. These are stereotypes. These aren't based on research. I mean, you know, is every 72-year-old into, you know, collecting coupons? This, this is the difference. We, we try to actually collect data to try to understand what their tasks are, what their needs are, what their information needs are, and, and how they want to use that information. These are abstract, these are stereotypes based on what people think. 
uh, a person is like, you have to be 72 years old or eight years old. 